Let's make our form even more interactive with things like radio buttons and checks. Now, the major difference between a radio button group and a checkmark group is in checkmarks, typically you can check as many things as apply, and with radio buttons, you're selecting one or the other. So, for example, gender, male, or female would go best as a radio button. So, let's put that for the child inside of this area. So, I'm going to click to the right of our text area and press the return key. Again, that's the enter key in Windows and return on a Mac. We're going to put this down underneath the Tell Us About Your Child area. So, down here, gender. Now, you have a button up here. It looks like a little eyeball staring back at you. That's a radio button, but that's typically not the one you want to use. Why? Because that's one. I can't think of too many instances. There are some where you only want one radio button. You usually want more than one, and that's the button to the right, right here. Now, in here, we need to give it a name. How about gender? That sounds good. Now, we already have two. We can add more if we want to or subtract some, and we can change the order by clicking these. This one here, select it and type in male. I'm going to press the tab key. Now over here is the value returned if they select that one. They got radio as a default. You could put the word male in there. You could say yes, whatever you want to. I'm going to put a one in there. I'm going to tab down here and I'm going to do female. I'm going to do a one again. Now they are the same numbers, but understand they are different data fields. A long time ago, I did a lot of programming. Some of you guys may have too. COBOL, RPG, Fortran. I knew about 12 different basic programming languages, and everything was a bit switch, a zero or a one. All you really have to do at that point is when you analyze the data, understand what you're looking for. But if you want male in there, if you want female, yes, no, whatever you want, it's up to you. It's not going to impact the quality or the speed of how you get it. So one and one. If male is there, they get a 1. So when my value is returned on this, it will either be 1, 0, or 0, 1. If it's 1, 0, it'll be a male. If it's 0, 1, it'll be a female. Now, how do we put it together? Line breaks or a table? I really don't want to insert a table in here, so I'm going to stay with line breaks. But it does something I want to change. Let's do this. Click OK. I don't want them like this. I want them next to each other. Now, in order to accomplish that, I have to go in the code. So go into the code right here. And let me go ahead and select one of these so I can see it. There it is right here. See the break right here? The BR? That break code, if I select it and delete it, actually delete the break code, we'll put them right next to each other. So if we go live on this, it does indeed work one or the other. Okay. For the check marks, how about something like maybe dietary requirements, like meat, fish, vegetables, something that we could use to demonstrate something like check marks. So I'll tell you what, let's come down here. Actually, get out of live, Andy, that might help. Let's select and press the return key to come down to the next line and actually type in dietary requirements. Colon, space. Now, come up here. You have a check box. But there's not a lot of times where you only need one. We want more than one, so we click here. Checkbox group. Same idea. Let's call it diet. Start up here. Beef. I'm going to give that a one. I'm going to tab. Tabbing is just obviously a lot faster. And how about chicken? And that'll be a one. Okay, let's add one here. Fish. Tab over a one, or whatever you want to put in there. Let's do one more, maybe. There we go. And how about vegetarian? One more. Anything goes. That's me. I'll try anything. Click OK. Now, it's doing the same thing. And I want them going across, just like male and female. Same thing applies here. There they are, right there. If we go into split view so we can see them, and there's all these breaks we have to get rid of. So let's get rid of this one. And this one. And this one. And now we got them left to right, which is kind of what I want here. 
And if we go into design and go into live, we can add things up here. We can tell our story. We can go male, female, dietary requirements, or anything goes up to you. And so we're fleshing out the form with a few more things. Let's go ahead and get out of live and save what we have. Go ahead and close it. Now, we didn't change the CSS, so there would be no change to that. And that's about it for this lesson.